Hey, don't hear. Okay, well, I'm back. I just grabbed the camera because I can do that so much quicker. Um, got the tripod resting on my stomach, and when I breathe, it moves. I guess that wasn't a good idea. Let's see. Um, okay, I got my uh, my last. Uh, my, this is my third one on this particular thing. So re reworking, re wiring my routers, and taking out the. Uh, Links this so that I can take it apart and see what might see if there's. I can tell what's wrong with that one port that doesn't work. Also, it's kind of hinky. It doesn't. The Wi-Fi doesn't work right all the time either. It may just be going to die. But uh, this is my website monitoring page that I use to tell me when it's down, up and down, and or it gives me sends me an email when it's down. You know, it's up again. Uh, it, it was down a while ago. Then it, this particular one refreshes. You can sit there and watch it. But it was down. Uh, went down when I first started here working on it, and uh, of course I did that. Well, I've actually forgot to uh, turn the IBM off before I was ready. I unplugged the cables on the router before I was ready. But anyway, so uh, today it's been down. It was up for 88 hours, and then it was down for 17 minutes, 14 to 17 minutes. And it was up for almost two hours, and it was down for an hour and two minutes. And I finally figured out that what had happened is when I was rebooted after I did all my rewiring, I rebooted my main router and everything. And what it did is it gave a new IP address to the uh, server machine that my backups over out in the garage because it's on that router. It's kind of weird. It's on it wirelessly, but not because it had. It's not a wireless machine out there. It's uh, and I'll go ahead and show my website. It, there it is. Going one of them. They're all on this. Don Songs and Bishop Co. are all on that same server. Don Songs is just mass so that you don't see. Uh, see Bishop Co. Us. Two is the actual. That's the. I have a dynamic IP address here. You know, with my ISP, so I have to have a forwarding service so that my websites will work. See. Like I think I can just click on that. Oh, that just gives the information. Uh, if I actually want to go to the website, then I have to type it in or something. I've only got one one hand with the camera, and another hand with the. This is my music website, and it's all up and running and everything. It's running good too. I can click on a song, and it'll. So uh, I think it'll be cool enough tonight. Uh, the heat can sometimes I think overwhelm the uh, machine out there in the garage and the router does its own net uh, so but it's gonna be cooler tonight I think so um, look again I think it's gonna be down like 70 so um, yeah it's 76 right now so you know that's not bad at all it was a lot hotter than that when I was out there doing that just before dark about seven to eight eight o'clock I think yeah it's it's 10 30 now 75 is going to be about 1045 and then it's going to stay nice until tomorrow morning I need to get up and go outside and do some stuff if I possibly can um, while, the, while the weather's a little better but um, I also got my remote desktop working so I have this uh, this is the uh, my Dell 1525 laptop right here and uh, I don't need, you know, remote desktop in order to use it because I actually have a KVM switch down there that I can just switch to one of four, four computers. It's on it right now. And uh, and I have wireless mouse and keyboard that's on it right now. So i got multiple ways to get to it. But the reason I do it that way is so that when I'm making uh, desktop videos, I can show it in the videos. But I had a real big... This what got me going after all this was... Um, it's going, it looks like it's going to be okay. Well, as I said, it looks like it's going to be okay. And now it's going kind of slow. This is via remote desktop right now. I think it'll be all right. It's been sitting there running for about five minutes or more now. Now nope, it's acting up again. It's going slow. I'll just have to really try it. But it was getting so bad, I would have to close the connection, open it back up. Close the connection, open it back up. When I had it going from this... Uh, router let's see I get the names of the routers on TP-Link yeah. T 
TP-Link to the Linksys, and then through, then on from the Linksys to the uh, TrendNet, which is what the what what you're looking at right now. That's what that. Uh, I think maybe it's going to be all right. Yeah. I'll just have to try it and see. Uh, hopefully that cured that problem. And as far as the uh, see, I can. Uh, I'll just leave it like it is. I might look at it again after I get done with this video. But I wanted to make an update. Uh, I was the last one I had made. I was like, oh man, my server's down, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get this. Uh, it was already, you know, it was. Uh, I was getting really hungry. I had to eat supper. It was nine o'clock, getting dark, and I wouldn't be able to see good. If that's the IBM. It's not even running now. Uh, I was able to shut it down because my little gateway out in the garage is my server right now. It was already set up for to be a server, and I set it up to be a backup server when I was having trouble with, uh, maybe, I don't know if it was when I was transferring my original server that I set up years ago, five or more years ago, is right there still. That's a Dell, uh, the old-fashioned desktop computer, you know, instead of the tower. Uh, it's a Pentium 3. 400 megahertz. I don't remember what RAM it had in it. The hard drive that was in it is in the IBM now. And anyway, I reformatted. I was running Chaos Linux for years on my web server. Now I'm running Fedora 23, and I need to update that. But this is a 32-bit machine, and uh, the Fedora servers, the newer ones, won't won't do 32-bit anymore. So I'll have to go either. I have some more machines now. I was given some more machines just like I was given that one. Uh, excuse me. And I have to go, I need to go through them and see. They're about the same age as machine though. They're Celerons like that. And uh, I don't know, one of them might be a Pentium 4. One of them's a Pentium, Pentium 3. I don't think I've really got much use for it. I didn't, it wasn't supposed to be. It was supposed to be like one Pentium 4 and two Core 2s. And that's not what I ended up being when they got here with them. So I didn't. I kept. I didn't turn them down. I didn't, you can't. You don't. You can't look a gift horse in the mouth too 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 hard. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, I uh, now my backup server is a gateway, 500 megahertz with 256 meg of RAM. I saw that a while ago. It has a 64 megabyte video card. And that's the same as my Pentium 4 that I built. The my old Pentium 4 down there. Uh, but I think it's it's on well, I think it is a dedicated video card. So is my opinion for. But anyway, um, the thing about making a server is you want something quiet and and you know it uses least electricity as possible. And those Celerons, that's one thing they're actually good for. They use a little bit. They say anyway they use less electricity than Pentium fours. Uh, I haven't ever checked to see, but that that IBM is a lot quieter, simply because it doesn't. It only has a power supply fan and a heat heatsink fan on the processor doesn't have a case fan in it and it stays cool enough long just uh, for a while I had two hard drives in it and I noticed that extra hard drive would really bring up the heat and so I took it out and uh, I didn't really need it in there anyway and so um, keep one hard drive in it and it <coughs> it's been doing good for 20 somewhere between a year and two years I think uh, Cause it's Fedora 23 and now 26 is fixing to come out so uh, anyway but the fan once in a while it'll get really dusty inside and the fan was making noise and it's probably just dusty again it did that before and so I want to last time I just two times I think I just vacuumed it out but that's kind of a lot of trouble dragging the, I used the shop vac you know drag it in here and used it I think it might be just as well to just drag the machine out there and blow it out real good. Get it out, get it cleaned out better with the air compressor. So I'll probably do that. I, th I think I'm okay now. I can run my backup server tonight, and maybe I'll get it cleaned out before it gets real hot and any, get any have anything affecting the. Uh, but uh, the server out there in the garage. But uh, yeah, I, w I went in there in my router, and I. Uh, Oh, I'm showing it right now. I actually had not intended to do that, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, these are uh, there's my DHCP client list. I mean, it's all local, you know, same IP address as everybody has if they have this have a router with this uh, IP address. 
but uh, anyway um, of course there's the MAC addresses that's what I really didn't want to show but I don't know if you can read them anyway probably can't so anyway um, yeah I set it to uh, always give the same IP addresses I went through and did that um, and so um, now it should be okay it shouldn't you know give it a different IP address if I remove the routers or anything but I went outside and I rebooted that zone net it didn't do me any good and then I got into this router zone net what it does it's a wireless repeater it's not wired to this router it's, it does it wirelessly through the through the Wi-Fi and uh, that's one of the what's well, the only one I got that can do that there's, there's routers that can do that and uh, it's um, but but once you set it up like that you can plug in to the Ethernet cables on that router and you get it you know and you get connection to the router that's you know your one you're repeating so it's kind of cool um, I tried to do a speed test out there to see what I was getting but uh, I couldn't uh, it's the, the, the operating system's so old that I couldn't uh, web browsers are too old and I couldn't get to I went in such a low powered machine you know but that's the main thing uh, the machine is too low powered you know it's Pentium 3 uh, 500 megahertz it just couldn't run any of the websites that did the speed test and there's apps there's like there's even command line apps you can do that in the terminal but I just I don't even remember how to do it but I've seen some connect command line apps to do it, you know, little scripts and stuff. But anyway, I didn't fool around with that for a while and finally gave up. So I think it's supposed to be 150 megabit capable. Uh, before I had it on the Linksys, and it would only do 54 megabits because that's the most the Linksys will do. So when I was out there doing working and doing things, if I transferred a file that was three or four gigab gigab uh, gigabyte gigabytes, it'd take a while, you know, 30 minutes or something. But uh, if, I, with, if you've got 150 megabits Wi-Fi and, and then the wire, you know, and the wired connection is 100 megabits, most all, all of mine are. I only have like two machines that have gigabit cards in them, so you know that's enough. That's fine. It works. That's enough. So I might be okay out there now. I had not. I had thought it wouldn't work on my uh, the uh, wireless repeater. I thought I, I couldn't get it work on the TP Link, and finally realized. I thought about showing that. Uh, be kind of hard to do but uh, there's uh, if you you know if you're familiar with phones uh, Android phones and stuff there's an app on there that I, that I put on I got found and put on there that uh, that uh, this other phone here it's, it's running I think yeah let's see um, you can get it woke up and everything Ugh. it um, hard to do this isn't it okay so um, if I can I'm trying to think if there's a way I can hold this I'm actually getting a stiff arm from holding this trying to be still oh, everything is going nuts on me here something different now of course that's a bad angle but at least it's not moving like crazy and here when I find the right app on the phone I'll, I'll bring it up there put it in front of it okay now here's the signals right here in my so get as close as I can I've made you can I've actually have ways to make a desktop videos phone top videos with make a desktop video and then the remote B and C into the phone but uh, take some time to set all that up but anyway you can watch your signals in real time watch the strength rise and fall and everything and um, for instance I'll have to get it where I can see it I have to get a magnifying glass to see it. But uh, Spectrum Wi-Fi, so that's the neighbors. That's the down there on the low channels, and then uh, my TP Link. That 
It's really the strongest one right now. Could be right. Yeah, some stuff turned. Oh, oh, you know what? I just realized something. I should have done this a long time ago, but I don't know if you can really see that, but that red one, that's the Tiki Lincoln. It's really, really strong, like I would have expected it to always be. I thought I tried this out before, but I don't have the zone net right. I mean, the link's just running. And I don't have the uh, trend net. I don't use the trend net because it's crappy. It, it gets. It, I don't think it can fight with all the other routers. And then all the other ones and other neighbors... They're uh, you know kind of going up and down, disappearing. There's the zone net. I can see it. And oh, and what I was trying to say is, you got to put the zone net uh, to do the wireless repeater. You got to put it on the same channel as the one you want to repeat. And I guess by default it was on the same channel as the uh, Linksys, and it just worked on there and didn't work on the. Oh my, that's sleep. And didn't work on the uh, TP Link. Once I figured it out. Somehow, I don't know, I quit working and then I, and I fixed it <laughs> one day and I, fi I figured out that I started fiddling around with the channels. And uh, that's my website you're just seeing instead of what I'm talking about, but I can't help it. Like, well, not very well anyway. So, not where I can see this at the same time. Um, so, the other, yeah, I'm sitting here watching all the other ones go up, rise and fall. And uh, so, without the Linksys, the TP Link is twice as powerful as it's ever been for all these last several years since I bought the thing. I don't know if I can make that better or worse by doing that. I think it makes it worse. But, uh, I may have discovered something. I, th I had tried uh, separating them I'd always had the links just stacked on top of the uh, TP link. I tried separating them by about three feet, and it didn't seem, it actually seemed to make it worse on the TP link. So, um, I just put it back over there and left it. And uh, I noticed that uh, trying to run uh, the, the trend net just, well, it had gotten really bad before I even got the TP the links this or the TP link and got got that didn't work good anymore. It seems to do fairly well on the uh, wired connection now, but I'd have to reboot it every oh if I use it for several hours or a whole day or at least it will say a day, a whole day, six or eight hours, then I'll have to reboot it. But uh, I don't know if I got my try to get my finger out of the way and I dropped the phone of course. But uh So that's pretty good. Whatever app, I don't remember the name of this app, but there's I'm sure there's several of them to choose from when I was looking. This is Android, but uh, I don't know the name might even be in there somewhere if you could see it. But uh, that's really been a very very valuable tool. See, I didn't. The only thing I I could tell about my network was what channel I was on, and uh, it didn't seem to be working good, or it did seem to be working good. I couldn't tell which which one had the strongest signal. I can walk around with one of these phones and watch the signal strength rise and fall. And uh, but when you when you repeat when you do the wireless repeater like this, uh, you get the IP addresses come from the main router. Look, in this case, the TP Link. And I always forget, you know, I, I forget a lot of things pretty quickly, but. Uh, I thought you could go out there, well I thought either, one or two things, you could go out there select with the phone and it should be uh, either make the signal stay strong as you walk out there or you could log in through the, I thought I thought I remembered I could log into the zone net out there and um, at least when I had it on the link says you could log into the zone net and uh, have a good signal, wireless signal, but I tried that a few weeks, a couple, three weeks ago and it I couldn't log into the zone net, uh, and the signal was weak, just as usual, out there uh, in the garage on the TV. Link. Now that I've got, now that the signal's really strong like this, I might be able to go out there just like this without doing anything. 
I bet you that Linksys was just really fighting. And see, I had spread them out. I didn't remember to say that. I had spread them out. And now it's going to go to sleep on me. I had spread them out on different uh, channels. And uh, I had the... Uh, so uh, not, not only... See, this what's really valuable about this tool is you can see what your neighbors, where they're at, and where you're at, and where all of your... I can see where all my routers are and spread them out on different channels so they weren't fighting with each other. And that did help a lot. But I didn't realize that if I turned off the link system that my strength on my TP-Link would double. <laughs> strength pattern there now it's like it should be it's the strongest thing of all and it, you know with the other ones being the neighbors houses on both either either side they should be the weakest but, uh, but yeah I got away from their routers I got I put my channel you know somewhere away where the weakest signals were and uh, that's that's something valuable to know so anyway uh, I should be okay with my uh, website now until until uh, tomorrow, and then I'll get uh, get that IBM all cleaned up and see if I can. Uh, you see, that's coming in fairly. Well, uh, that part right there isn't. The rest of the page isn't loading very qu real quick, but. Uh, Again. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, let's uh, try that again. Well, right this minute, it's loading slow, and that's what happens sometimes when I'm using that uh, server out there. And I think that may be because of the uh, machine speed and not the. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, though, you know. You, going from a, uh, using that wireless repeating stuff and it's kind of hard to tell what might be causing the trouble the most the machine or the wireless connection so yeah I don't like trying to trying to run a server over wireless connection that just makes everything even more confusing to figure out when you have problems that page just act like it doesn't want to load at all it's not completely loading can't get it to it's just still sitting there re loading close it and try it again I clicked on the well it shouldn't matter but I'll type it in there hmm. give it time and don't give it anything else to do maybe it will go ahead and load up but, uh, and those those monitoring services are really helpful because uh, if you're on the same router as you're like I am right now, I'm on the same router as the, uh, except excluding it being wire. It's not well, it's not on the same router actually, but it's on the same network. Uh, so if you tr there, it finally loaded. So yeah, that's a pretty slow load. That's not good, but. Uh, this is not down completely because I'm just it's too late now. It's an almost 11 o'clock, and I'm gonna have to get back and get in bed. I'm gonna be getting up early at this rate, will I? Okay, so uh, yeah, all kinds of wires they could jump, come up and go down so quick I can't uh, read the name. Well, some uh, there's one, two, three, four on top of each other. They're up in the nine to thirteen. They're probably on channel 11. I've got mine on, I think, like channel 7. There's another one that's on probably channel 6. And then there's, there's one called Spectrum Wi-Fi. I think it's new. I don't remember seeing that. Spectrum Wi-Fi 92G. 92-2G. That's on, like, channel 2 or something. It shows to be, be <laughs> way down there. No, it's on channel 1. You can kind of tell by where the... Where the uh, the hump is on the, on the arch that's in the center of that hump is, is what channel it's on I figured that out just by you know trial and error and my zone lit it's on channel well it's either six or seven there it is I see it and it's of course in here it's a lot weaker than the TP link but it's the repeater and then there's some others that are on well it's on seven and then the others are on six there's two others there that are coming up and down 
and some some channels do perform better than others like if you try putting it on channel four where it looks like there's not anything I tried that already and it didn't perform very well those newer routers seem to perform better in the higher channels like six to six and up but what was happening to me is those ones that are pretty low now compared to my red the red tall one I don't know if you can see it I'm not sure how well it can be seen with all the reflections and everything uh, the ones on the right in the higher channels there that were fighting my TP link now it's stronger they might not be able to fight it now that I, I didn't realize I was fighting it myself with my link sticks so it may be uh, turn out to be a blessing in disguise as they say uh, maybe that link sticks was actually giving me more trouble than it was helping it always worked better even though it uh, TP Link has three uh, three antennas and it's supposed to be so much better and everything else and so much newer but the Linksys even though it was a 54 meg megabit router was actually stronger signal it would reach uh, all the way out to the garage and into the driveway you know down in the backyard sometimes it would drop out when you're in the garage but uh, anyway I'll click on another link on here and see if it's still loading slow. Looks like it is fairly slow. And my web browser's not using up too much memory or anything. Uh oh. This is what happens the last several times I've tried to use this backup server. It would work, not work. Looks like I'm going to have the same trouble again. Go back to that page. Let's just click on a different link. It's always a possibility that I'm clicking on a, a broken page. Maybe, you know, I thought I had everything all updated. As fast as that came in, I wonder. Uh, that comes in really fast, see? That page comes in really fast. I don't think it's because they're in the cache. It could be. That's what's tricky when you're trying to check a web page. Okay, let me check it from my. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, if I get on this other machine, oh, it's still running. So let's go here. I'll check it. <coughs> See if it, this is on a different router. Uh, I mean, it's still connected. It's daisy chained to my TP link, but uh, it's. Uh, oh, my uh, remote desktop's not refreshing like it should now. I'll turn this over here to the. Uh, so it didn't come in to the laptop. unable to connect so I may not be up like I thought I was dead gum it too tired to fool with this anymore well it's been down for more a day at a time before after I set all those um, address reservations that's what they call them I uh, I see there's a next on there uh, I'm looking at my I don't, I don't want to show the all of my information on my router but uh, I was looking at the uh, I think I need to reboot the router anyway I've been waiting to do it because I, I knew somebody was on the machine on their machine in the other room but I need to go ahead and uh, reboot this TP link.
because uh, I was thinking the next button was going to reboot the router from remotely, you know, from the admin page. That uh, all those address reservations or static static routes is what they used to call it on a lot of routers, but uh, it just makes it give it the same IP address every time. <coughs> Doesn't change, so uh, you get. Uh, that's what I, what happened is it changed the IP address when I booted the router. So I set up to a, an address reservation. That's what they call it in TP-Link. Stat static routes is what they call it in others. But uh, anyway, once this gets rebooted, okay, uh, now it's all up and going. And I figured out there is supposed to be a green check mark on this one. I mentioned it. I was looking at it, trying to figure out. That one doesn't necessarily. You never know for sure whether you need to do that on all the rest of them, but that one, well, this one's not going to get, I've got to go into it, i got to get go down to one of the machines that are actually directly hooked up to it, go in there and turn on the DHCP server because it's turned off, it's just, it, it's just switch right, it'll work as a switch or a router, and there, I think there's a way to turn it on to actually accept the IP address from this, if I can, I'll do that, but I hadn't got that far yet, now this one, the, uh, Trend net. Go ahead and reboot it too. That's the one that the laptop is on. I don't know if that'll break. It probably won't break my remote desktop connection. We'll see. Might have to log out and log back in. But uh, yeah, I usually keep those. Well, I was making a video earlier. I usually keep these over here on top of my server, but I took them off because I was going to take it out and clean it and take it out and blow it out with the air compressor. All this other junk that was sitting on there that case of headphones and that box and all that stuff needs to go back up in there let's see I don't think it's responding now so we'll disconnect and try to reconnect I think that's the right one yeah so it's gonna work but instead of doing it that way let's just uh, Use my KVM switch. I forget where to point the camera. That's one reason why I don't <laughs> I could try to do the camera handheld anymore. I can't remember how to do it. Okay, so now I'm over there on that machine. And you can see it up here in this router. I mean in this uh, monitor. Or over here. I'm really disappointed. I thought it had it all worked out. Can't get to the main website. So that may be that, uh, let me see if that works, looks like neither one of them is going to work, so it's down again, yeah, I should. I kept thinking, I kept thinking to try that earlier and then I kept forgetting, because I was, I was trying it from the same machine, the one that, the machine that's given out, that's on the same router, I'm just going to forget that. Don't really need to use. I was just checking the remote desktop to see if it worked. So, um, client list. It's not seeing. It was one sixteen. There it is. See, it can go there, but it's awfully slow. It can go to 116. That's the local IP address of the... Uh, there it is, but it is slow. Um, so when I try to I'll get my little wireless mouse and try again... But when I try to get there from the laptop, which is basically basically simulating getting there from the internet, it's not loading in. But it hasn't changed its IP address or anything. I was starting to wonder there because uh, let me 
shouldn't have. Oh yeah, I did reboot the router. That's why I wondered. But it's not showing. That's my DHCP clients list, and it's not showing the. Uh, maybe when I reboot this router, I do have to reboot that one outside after all. That must be it. Yeah, that's what I had to do last time. So, so if you had a power outage and everything got rebooted, then you wouldn't be back up. With, with my IBM, the way I had it all set up, um, it would all come right back up when the power came back. It would work again. Okay, the ones I said is permanent. They're permanent now, though. That's good. They say permanent when you set them as uh, as uh, address reservations. Okay, there's two pages of address reservations. That's what I was saying. I couldn't. So I thought the next was to reboot the router. What this saying, you have to reboot the router when you set it. But so, uh, yeah, that's what I need to do then. Let's go out here and reboot it. So um, I'll do that, but I'm not going to do it with this. Carry this camera around. Maybe I'll take the little hand, other camera with me out there and turn it on out there. I already showed a video of doing that. I don't really need to make another video. I'll just go do it and then come back.